Go. Go find the ball. Well, that's way too short. Too short. Good measurements, Kyle. Good measurements. So I just finished um, one, the lower wall on one side, all the, um, between the studs, so the house doesn't rock back and forth as much. But you guys saw me carry this stuff in. This is my 3 8 threaded rod that I'm gonna drill through the frame of the trailer, and then all the way through, the top plate of the frame, squeeze the whole house down together to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't have to be perfect. It can have a little bend to it. But um, let's drill now. I'm gonna start with the hardest one, which was this one right here. Because we have to go through the wood, through the plywood, and into the frame, through the frame, and out the frame, that's why the bit's so long. So let's just give her a go. All right, we're already through all the wood. Now let's try to see if we can get through the frame. Like this. All right, I got the proper tools now, so now we can move that out of the way and All right, so this is the whole thing. So we come up, little union to join the two pieces of threaded rod at the very top. We got a washer and a double nut for a jam nut. Oh, is it gonna focus? Yes. That's the top, so we'll crank down the bottom nut to get everything pulled. We'll pull the whole top plate down. And we got the same thing on the other side, so we can just pull the trailer frame to the top plate. And and I'll just pull and I'll just hold the wall to the trailer so we don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna go do the same thing like eleven more times now. And he's happy about it. Alright guys, here's a little update for you. We got pops up there. Where is he? We just finished up all these now. So now all we have to do is tighten them all down. But when we were drilling these holes in the back for the back wall, we had a problem. <laughs> we had a problem in the back. You see all that dust metal shavings? Uh, where we drilled, it came right down through the light on both sides. Luckily, did not hit either connector, but um, straight through that light right there. So that light's junk. And straight through this light right here. So now this light's junk. And there's Leah. <laughs> so all I'm gonna do is just put an adjustable on the coupling. Oh, little baby spider right there. Um, just lock this top one down. And then I'll do the same for the bottom one. I've never done it. But, I do have a little welder, so I think I'm going to weld the top nuts, um, and maybe these nuts. I'll just leave the bottom nuts not welded, so I can always tighten it up if I wanted to. But I've only ever practiced stick welding, and this is a little Harbor Freight welder that I bought for like 50 bucks. So, never used it. We'll see how it works, but that's going to be later in the episode or so. I think that's 
That's it. That's it? Why? Well, I, I don't want to crush. How does it feel? Good? Pretty solid. All right, so I've never done this type of welding. I briefly learned how to do stick welding. And the crowd is anticipating greatness. Hell, I am excited for you, son. So that's how it came out. Hope you guys can see it. It's not terrible, but it works. And now I'm just gonna keep doing the rest of them. One right in my ear. Um, what the hell am I supposed to protect you from shit like that? Yeah, I did too. Alright, let me know if you guys have ever done that before. I'm now uh, instead of bending over like this, I'm just gonna come from the bottom. <laughs> that might uh, avoid injury better. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ugly. Oh yeah, that is um as ugly as you can get. More ugly. More ugly. Alright, yeah, that won't go anywhere, so that's all that we care about. It's ugly as anything you want to think of that's ugly. <laughs> but it won't go anywhere. We're getting better, slowly. Maybe we're not getting that much better. Whew. So if uh, anyone got any tips for a uh, wire-fed welder, let me know, I need a uh, more practice. Okay, so I welded all the middle nuts. I'll throw some pictures up here. Um, they came out terrible. Um, they, they are very bad. Not happy with any of them, really. A couple reasons why I think they came out bad. One, don't know what I'm doing. Two, I don't think the welder that I was using was strong enough. I, just, I, I bought that welder. It's a Harbor Freight welder. And I paid like 20 bucks for it at a yard sale somewhere. Um, it did something, just wasn't anything good. But anyways, so not happy with the welds, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Not gonna weld the top, just because they came out bad. If anything, I'll just chisel uh, some threads away on the top so the nuts can't back off. We'll just do that up top. But the whole house is now Pulled down, my dad finished all the hurricane ties up top, and this thing is... I, it just feels a lot stronger, leaning on a wall, pushing everything, everything definitely feels much tighter now, which is good, very good. So I'm going to end the episode here. Let me know if you guys, what, let me know what you guys think about the welding, and uh, I, I think the welder was too weak. I don't think it was meant for something this thick, it was probably meant for like sheet metal. That's my guess. Ooh, I'm getting whitewashed. Um, yeah, just let me know. Sorry it's been so long. I've been out of work forever. Now I'm just getting back into it. Yeah, that's it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Peace.